And welcome back to Ozarks Live. The KDBA Drag Boat Spring Opener is taking place this weekend at Lucas Oil Speedway, whom this segment is sponsored by. And we have Tyler Spear and Danny Lorton here to tell us about it. Thanks for joining us, guys. How are you doing? Good. Thanks yeah. for having us on. Yep, doing good. Very good. Tell us what's going to be going on this weekend because this, I, I, I mean, People have been coming to these for a while, and this is just going to be a ball all weekend. I'll let you have this. So uh, <laughs> basically, we've got three days of racing. Uh, Friday afternoon, around 3 o'clock is when we uh, start the first round of qualifying. And then on Saturday, we'll have two, maybe three more rounds of qualifying. And then Sunday is competition day, race day. Okay, and I know a lot of people, when we talk to you, especially you, Danny, we think of Lucas Oil Speedway and we think of the cars on the track. This is completely different. As we mentioned, it is the drag boat. That's what you're standing next to. Tell me about this boat. Yeah, like I said, Tyler, I'll let him answer this. This is his boat here, so. Yeah, this is our boat. So uh, we run Throw Outlaw about 175 miles an hour. You'll actually see boats this weekend run all the way up to uh, 200, maybe 210 miles an hour this weekend. Uh, the weather's really nice, so. Uh, having good weather and really cool air definitely helps these hot rods run a little bit faster. So you're going to see uh, massive rooster tails and uh, basically big waterfalls ripping down Lake Lucas here. Yes. So if you like to go to the lake and you think a speedboat is out there, that, they don't even come close to what you guys are doing. That water is awfully hard at 200 miles an hour. Yeah, we uh, we try to stay on top of it, keep the uh, <laughs> top side dry. That's, uh, that's that's what we focus on doing. And, uh, these are kind of a little bit more like spaceships versus your everyday runabout lake boats. You know? mm -hmm. So uh, uh, we're all super excited to be here. And, uh, man, all the fans and everybody out there, it's going to be a great weekend for racing. And uh, look forward to seeing everybody coming to Lake Lucas here. How many boats are going to be running on Lake Lucas? So I don't know the exact count yet, but um, I think there's probably going to be somewhere around 80 boats is what we think is at least pre-registered to date. Um, but normally there's some more come in, so possibly 100 boats here. Um, and then I do know for our class, we're probably going to have somewhere around maybe six to eight boats um, for the capsule boats. Um, so that ought, ought to be a pretty good field and uh, a lot of passes down here and pulling in the water. Now, Tyler, does are, are you the pilot of the boat? Yes, sir. So build it and run it. Uh, we actually, dad does all the motor stuff for us and the B drives. I do the main build out of it uh, back at our shop. So we're actually based out of Georgia uh, where we build these hot rides. And uh, I've actually got another gentleman behind me. There's a red boat. I'm not sure if y'all can see it in the camera or not, but uh, put that one together and have another guy based out of Georgia that's driving that one behind us. His name's Thomas as well. So uh, we've, got a, we've got a few boats here from Georgia. So we're hoping to put on a good show for everybody here in Missouri. Well, seeing how fast these things these things move, are you part of the need for speed crowd? Is that what got you in that boat? Yeah, it's a, it's an addiction. Uh, at least that's what I call it. Mom, my mom calls it a genetic disorder, but you know everybody's got their different terms for it. I get that. I get that part of it. <laughs> at, at what age, Tyler, did you start uh, racing these boats? Did you see someone else do it and say, "Gosh, I'd like to try that"? I mean, how how did you get into it and when? So um, my dad ran years ago in the 80s, um, and then I just grew up building building boats, helping dad. We have a boat shop in Georgia, so I've grown up around it. But it's funny because I actually didn't start racing until uh, actually here's where I got licensed at Lake Lucas here in Missouri. It's where I got licensed uh, my first pass in 2014. Wow. Um, it's whenever I started. And uh, since then, we've got four championships. We actually have the uh, record with Top Fuel. And, uh, yeah, so it's a uh, – We've done really well since we since we started, but then again, I grew up around it. And, uh, like I said, uh, had the need for speed since I was little. So whether it be stock cars or boats or pretty much anything with a wheel that goes fast makes a lot of noise. So Danny, it sounds like you have champions coming in. Tell folks when they can see all of these races, and I know Friday night, a little party atmosphere as well. Yeah, yeah. Friday night, we gotta see with after the drag boat races are over with, they got their banquet tonight, and after that, Friday night, and after that, they got a karaoke we have down here by the bar again. And like I say, Saturday uh, racing, and Saturday night also we got the dirt track, so they'll be able to get two for the price of one on Saturday. And real quick, set the scene for us at Lake Lucas because I know, I mean, it is it's a first class deal. It's not like you're standing on the shore. I mean, there are places to sit and relax. Tell us what it's like there. Oh yeah, we've got, I say on the drag boat side of it, we've got two covered grandstands. Uh, we've also got a VIP tent area. Like I said, the lake is just 
It's uh, 4,000 foot long, 400 foot wide, eight foot deep in the center. Just man-made for drag racing only. All right, guys, thank you so much for being with us. I hope you all, both of you and everybody, has a great weekend. All right, thank you all. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back.